Hello children. Now we will start the new lesson of science kinds of plants. There are many kinds of plants in our surrounding. Some are small, some are big. Big plants are called as trees. Trees have strong trunk. Now we will read the lesson. Now look at the book. See kinds of plants. Hmm? This is banyan tree, coconut tree, mango tree. This is lotus uh, lotus pond. That means lotus plant. It is in the uh, water. It uh, lives in water. Grass. It has weak stem. Then cactus plant. It has thorns on its leaves. Then cucumber tree. This is big tree. This is hibiscus plant. This is small plant, neem tree. It is big tree. Soham and Rita are playing in the garden with their friends. Soham plucks the leaves of plant. Rita scolds him. Soham, you must not do that. Like you and me, plants also have life. That is, plants are living things. They are living things. Living things, they breathe, they need food, air and water and sunlight. They grow. There are different kinds of plant around us of different shapes and sizes. The shapes and sizes of different plants are different. Some plants are big while others are small. Some plants are unable to stand erect and often grow along the ground or up a pole or a, no, or a window grill. That means like money plants, some plants need support to stand up. Now see, name three flowering pot plants. Which are the flowering plants? Rose, jasmine and lotus. Name three plants with fruits. Apple, mango and lemon. Now, trees. Some plants are big and strong. They are called trees. They have thick and rough trunk. This is called as trunk. Trees are big and strong. They have thick and strong trunk. Now here you have to draw tree and color it. Now look at the book. Shrubs. Bushy plants which are smaller than trees and have woody stems are called shrubs. Bushy plants which are smaller than trees and have a woody stem are called shrubs. They do not live as long as trees. They have several stems which grow close to one another. Some examples of shrubs are rose, hibiscus, jasmine and tulsi. Now see these all are the shrubs. Tulsi, hibiscus, rose shrub and jasmine. Now herbs. Plants that are very small and have soft and weak stem are called herbs. Plants that are very small and have soft and weak stems are called herbs. Many herbs have strong fragrance. They have a very short life. Now, some plants such as grapes and pea plant cannot grow erect. They need the support of other plant or a pole to climb up. They are called climbers. You know the money plant. It needs support to climb up. It cannot stand erect. It has weak stem. These are called as climbers. Now creepers. Now look at the book. This is pumpkin. Bottle guard. Hmm? It creeps over the ground. Creepers also have weak stems. That is they also can't stand erect. And cannot grow erect. They spread and creep along the ground. P 
pumpkin bottle gourd and watermelon are examples of creeper plants are useful to all living things and the environment itself without plants there could no could be no life on earth we must plant more trees and make the world greener now let us revise plants are living things plants are living things they need food and water they need food and water they breathe they grow big and strong plants are called trees big and strong plants are called trees short woody plants are called shrubs short woody plants are called shrubs herbs are plants having soft and weak stems herbs are plants having soft and weak stems climbers need the support of other plants or a pole to grow climbers need the support of other plant or a pole to grow creepers grow or creep along the ground creepers grow or creep along the ground plants are very important living things plants are very important living things